Welcome to Cardio Yoga Flow. Hi, I'm Leslie. Let's begin by lying on your back, soles of your feet together, knees apart. Close your eyes, hands on your belly, and deepen your breath. Today, you'll warm up and flow through a mix of intense strengthening poses, coupled by some nice moderate pace yoga focusing on stretching your hips and your shoulders, and there will be some fun back bends too. This video will get you sweating and increase your heart rate, make you feel strong. But by the end, you're going to feel wonderfully peaceful and balanced. Taking deeper breaths, feel your belly rise and fall. Now reach down for the outsets of your knees. Try your knees in, take them apart and around in a big circle. So inhale in, around and together. And then one more. Pause and then take the legs out and then in toward the belly and around. So out, around, together at the belly. Just warming up the hips. You can do it your own way too. Heels under knees now, arms by your sides, thumbs up. As you inhale, come into a nice gentle bridge. Spiral the thighs in toward each other. Exhale, lower down one vertebra at a time. And again, as you inhale, press down into the heels, lift and stretch the front of the body. As you exhale, lower down to the earth. Once again, as you inhale, lift, lengthen your sitting bones towards the backs of your knees. Oh, there's Elmer Kitty. Exhale and lower down. Now draw your right knee into your chest, extend your left leg, keep it off the floor and lift your head and shoulders. You can hold the leg, reach the fingertips forward or cradle your head. Keep your neck long, that's important. Pull your belly in to support your low back. Reach your right leg up. Now you can use your hands to come all the way up or try it without. So exhale, lifting up. Inhale, lower with control. Exhale, lift. Now stay up in bridge pose. Keep the spine long, knees bent. You can also hold the backs of the knees as you breathe here. Now use your hands if you have any back issues to lower back down. Otherwise, use your belly muscles and your core strength to lower slowly. Draw the left knee in. Lift the right leg off of the floor. Lift your head and shoulders. Holding here or cradle the head, especially if you have neck issues, or reach your fingertips forward. Pull the belly and lift your pelvic floor the whole time as you're breathing. Left leg up, bent or straight. Take a breath in, exhale, lift. Use your hands to come up as needed. Lower down, take a breath in, exhale, lift. Slowly lower, inhale, exhale, lift up, stay up. Sitting tall in boat pose, knees bent, hold on behind the legs or reach the fingertips forward. Option to straighten the legs, but you must keep your back long if you do. Breathe and then release. Cross your ankles and make your way into table. Inhale, drop the belly, lift your chin and tailbone up. Exhale, round your back, chin toward chest. And again, inhale, stretch out those belly muscles you just strengthened. And then exhale, pull them in and up again. Get them working. Now extend your right leg back and your left. You're in plank pose. We're going to move from plank, knees up and down. So knees down, take a breath in. And then exhale, press the knees up toward the earth, keep up toward the sky. Keep lengthening sitting bones to backs of knees. Inhale, lower the knees. Take a breath. Exhale, lift them back up again. Chest forward, heels back, firm your legs. Take the knees to the earth. And then inhale, drop the belly again, lift your chin and tailbone up. As you exhale, round the back, chin to our chest. Again, inhale, it's a cow pose, looking up. Exhale, it's a cat pose, rounding the back. Come to neutral spine, step the right foot back and then left, you're in plank pose. And now lift your right leg about a foot off the floor. You can always have your left knee down for this. Hold here as you breathe and then draw the right knee into the belly. As you inhale, stay. As you exhale, extend the leg back, keep it off the floor and then let it go. Back to plank. Left leg lifts just about a foot or so off the floor. 
Keep your belly engaged. Keep your pelvic floor engaged. Exhale, draw the thigh into the belly. Staying for a breath. Keep pressing away from the earth. Inhale, lift the leg back and up. Exhale, return it to the earth. Shift forward, knees up or down, chaturanga all the way down to your belly. Hands by low ribs, peel the chest up for baby cobra, lengthen sitting bones to heels. You can lift up into a higher cobra as long as it's okay on your back. Keep your belly pulled in to protect it. Lower back down, tuck your toes, knees can be up or down as you exhale, chaturanga or to plank and then to down dog. Then bicycling the legs here in your down dog. And now we should be warmed up. Hopefully you are too. Arms, shoulder distance, feet, hips width. Stretch out your legs in down dog for a moment. Come on to the balls of the feet. Exhale everything out. Step your feet forward. Lengthen as you inhale and fold forward on your exhale. Rise up. Inhale, look up, lengthen. And exhale, hands to heart. Take a breath here, already feeling the heart rate increase. Sit back in your chair pose, inhale, weight in the heels, then exhale, belly to thighs, forward fold. Halfway up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, make your way to plank. Knees up or down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra, it's always your choice. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, bend the knee, open up your hip. Now, if you have any knee issues in this next part, but first, exhale, thigh to belly, step it up. Make sure your knee's over your ankle. Bend the back knee a little, tilt the pelvis forward, stretch through arrow straight arms. Knee issues stay here. Otherwise, bend the knee, exhale, straighten it. Then lean over your thigh, palms face down, pull your elbows back, come to center. Bend the knee, exhale, straighten. Inhale, leaning forward, pull the arms back. Use your own resistance. Come to center. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, forward. Exhale, pull the elbows. Reach up. Bend the knee. Exhale, straighten. Reach forward. Pull the elbows. Reach up. Bend the knee and straighten it. Inhale, forward. Pull the elbows back and then hands to the earth. Come to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up, and then bend the knee, open the hip for a moment. Press evenly through the arms and shoulders. Come to center, draw thigh to belly, hold it here a moment, step it up by the left hand. Make sure the left knee's over the ankle. Bend the back knee to tilt your pelvis forward a bit. Now you can keep it straight or bend, tap, and then lean forward, pull the elbows back. Inhale, arms up, bend the knee. Exhale forward, pull the elbows back. Use your own resistance. Inhale, arms reach, back knee bends. Exhale, straighten over the thigh, pull the elbows back. Inhale, arms reach, back leg bends. Lean forward, pull the elbows back. Inhale, bend the knee, straighten it. Exhale, lean forward, pull your arms back, hands to the mats, and slow, slow chaturanga. Press up to plank, and again, chaturanga, knees can be down. Press up to plank, chaturanga, exhale, this time to up dog, and exhale, return to downward facing dog. So it's a little bit intense, but now we'll move a little more moderately. We're not going to say it's going to be easy, but easier. Remember, you can always push the pause button, come on to the balls of the feet, Inhale, lightly step or hop forward, lengthen the spine, and fold as you exhale. Bend the knees, drop the hips, reach up into chair, weight into the heels. Now bring your right arm back, inhale back to center, left arm back, inhale center. Keep the weight in the heels, stay in your chair. This is like a running chair. <laughs> left arm back and back to center. Bring the right arm back and up, and the left. Reach up, arrow straight arms, right arm back, inhale it up, left arm back and to center. Sweep the right arm back into center, left arm back into center. Sit back, hands to heart, take your left arm across and twist. Pull your left hip back so your hips are level. 
You can stay with your hands touching or left hand to the earth, right arm to the sky. Make sure the left knee is not ahead of the right. If it is, you got to pull that left hip back a little bit. And come back to center. Sit back in your imaginary chair. Hands to heart. Lean forward. Get a little length and then hook the right arm across. Pull your right hip back so the right knee is not ahead of the left. You can stay with your hands touching or right fingertips to the earth, left hand to the sky. Breathe. Lift your belly, lift your pelvic floor. Inhale back to chair pose, and then belly to thighs and fold. Pause here a moment, and then return to chair pose. Inhale, weight in the heels, shins pressing back. And then exhale, forward fold again, straightening the knees, any amount. Returning to chair, bend the knees, reach up, pull the ribs and belly in. And then to stand, samastitihi. Nice work. Take a couple of breaths and just notice the changes in your body already. Heart rate is increasing, maybe even sweating. Inhale, bend the knees, drop the hips, chair. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or float for chaturanga. As you inhale, come into up dog or stick with cobra. Now exhale to down dog. Lifting the right leg as you inhale with level hips this time. Exhale thigh to belly just for a breath or two and then step it right next to the right hand again. Bend the back knee, tilt your pelvis forward, reach up through the arms. Hook your thumbs, pull them away from each other and then lean back just a little tiny back bend but keep the low back long. Now back to center. Bend the back knee and straighten it. Try to keep your hips low as you bend. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Now leaning forward over the thigh just like we did before. And then return your hands to the earth for plank pose. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog on your inhale. And then back to plank pose. You can hold plank or step your feet together, roll to the pinky toe side of your right foot, left arm stretches to the sky. You can also take your right knee down for more support. Pull your belly in and up, lengthen your sitting bones to heels as you breathe here. Feel your strength. Return back to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling upward facing dog. And exhale, downward dog onto the other leg. As you inhale, float your left leg back and up with level hips. Exhale, thigh to belly, shoulders over wrists and step it up. Stay on the ball of the back foot, lengthen through your low back, reach through arrow straight arms. Hook the other thumb at the top and reach, reach, reach up as you look back, maybe just a tiny back bend in your upper back, but pull your belly in to protect your low back. Come to center, bend the back knee, and straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten. Lean over the thigh. Reaching, reaching. Pull that left hip back as you do. And then return your hands down to the earth and lower chaturanga. Upward dog on your inhale. And then back to plank. Holding here or feet together, roll to the little toe side of the left foot. Right arm up. Bring your top hip a little bit forward. Breathe, engage your low belly, engage your pelvic floor muscles as much as you can comfortably while keeping a steady breath. Return back to plank pose. Lower chaturanga, exhale, press up to plank. Remember, you can have your knees down. Chaturanga, press up to plank. Again, chaturanga, and then upward facing dog, inhale and then to down dog, exhale. Breathe. Hit the pause button, take a child's pose whenever you need. This one has some intense parts in it, but you're doing good. Come up onto the balls of the feet, exhale everything out, step or hop forward, lengthen on your inhale, and fold, exhale. Again, bending the knees, come back to chair pose, and then Standing Samastitihi. Coming to your Tadasana at the front of your mat. Take a breath. Reach up, inhale, 
full exhale. Come halfway up and lengthen inhale and step or float for Chaturanga. Upward dog is an inhale and then downward dog on your exhale. Right leg lifts on your inhale. Exhale, draw thigh to belly and now step it right between the hands from the back heel down, coming into warrior two. Make sure your right knee is above your ankle and point it over the middle toes. Firm your back leg. Lengthen through the arms and then take your hands behind you, interlacing your fingers or hooking your thumbs. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, and then fold, exhale. Stretching the shoulders, but without locking the elbow joints. Let your head hang, keep weight in that back heel, outer edge of back foot, and weight in the front heel. Pull your belly in and up. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, release the arms and reverse your warrior. And now slowly straighten the right leg. Keep reversing and now come up for triangle, shortening the stance if you like. Taking the arms out, hinge from your hip crease, reach out, get some length. Right hand down, left arm reaching to the sky. Stretch through the side of your body. Reach your left arm in line with your ear. Option to pick up the right hand as well, like you're holding a beach ball between your palms. Keep reaching through the arms, firm the legs, but soften your knee joints a little bit. And inhale all the way up, warrior two, exhale. Take a breath in, windmill the arms down. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward dog is an inhale, and downward dog and exhale to the other side. Left leg lifts from the inner thigh. As you exhale, thigh to belly, pause, and then step it between the hands. Spin the back heel down. Make sure you line up front heel with back arch. And the left knee is above the ankle, pointed over the middle toes. Lift your chest. Gaze over your fingertips. Draw your low belly in and lift all the muscles in the pelvic floor. Then interlace your other pinky or thumb on top. Look up, open the chest, inhale. And fold, crown of the head reaching toward the earth, exhale. As you're stretching your shoulders here, soften your elbow joints a bit. Press through the outer edge of the back foot and firm that back leg. Breathe. Inhale to come up, release the arms still in warrior two, exhale, and then drop the right arm reverse, bending into the left knee and then slowly straighten it. Ah, keep reversing. Inhale, come up, triangle pose, shorter stance if you like, hinge from your hip crease and get some length first and then take the left hand down, stretch up through the right fingertips, drawing that left hip under you. Reach your right arm forward, you can stay right here, just stretching or option to extend the left arm as well. Make sure to soften your left knee joint and firm your belly and your pelvic floor to hold you here. Just another breath as you come up on your inhale and then bend the knee over the ankle on your exhale. Breath in, windmill the arms down, exhale, chaturanga. Up dog on your inhale, shoulders above wrists and down dog as you exhale. Even out your breath. Press weight into the base of your fingers. Lift up through your forearms. There's less weight in your wrists. Keep your arms and your ears in line. Come way up onto the balls of the feet. Exhale everything out. Lightly step or hop forward. Inhale, half lift. Fold, exhale. Press to the feet and rise up on your inhale and bring your hands to your heart. Take a breath here, and then inhale back to chair pose. Exhale, folding forward. Halfway up, inhale, step or float, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale for up dog, exhale to down dog. Step your right foot up, spin your back heel down, inhale, warrior one, then exhale right away through chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps, back heel down right away. One breath, warrior one. Exhale, move through chaturanga. 
Inhale, press to up dog or cobra. Exhale to down dog. We're gonna do it again. Right foot up, back heel down. Warrior one, inhale, knee over ankle. Exhale, glide through chaturanga. Inhale, press up. Exhale back. One breath, left foot steps, back heel is down. Warrior one, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Lower sh shoulders, no lower than elbows. Then up dog, inhale. Now plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga, knees can be down. Exhale, chaturanga again. One more chaturanga into upward facing dog, inhale. And then to down dog. Nice work. Even out your breath here. Try to keep your inhales and exhales equal and maybe lengthen them a bit. As your heart is pounding, we're gonna slow it down. Come to plank pose and slowly, slowly chaturanga and then to your belly. Bring your arms alongside your belly, pull your belly in, lengthen your sitting bones to heels and lift up into Shalabhasana Locust Pose. Roll the shoulder heads away from the earth. Keep your sitting bones lengthening to heels. Breathe and then rest. You can rest your chin down, your forehead, or one ear. But let everything go for a couple breaths. And arms alongside your thighs again, lifting to Shalabhasana once again. Inner thighs lift up. You can stay or bend the knees, taking the little toe sides of the feet for Dhanurasana. Knees no wider than hips, lifting the feet up and then pressing them back. Breathe here. And release and rest. Rest your chin or the other ear down or forehead. Let everything go for a couple breaths. Make sure you have room on either side of your mat for this next one. I'm going to start in Shalabhasana, which you can always stay in, or reaching for the feet for Dhanurasana bow. You can stay right here or roll to the right side, turning the back of the head toward the earth, knees no wider than the hips. Keep pressing your feet back and pull your belly in. Inhale, center. Make your way to center. Get stable and center again as you lift up. Take a breath and then when you're ready, roll to the left side. A little too close to the well for me today. <laughs> Turn the back of your head toward the earth. Lengthen your sitting bones towards the backs of the knees. Pull your belly in. Inhale to center. Get yourself center and then lift up and press back again for bow pose. Breathe. And then let it all go. Resting down for a couple of long breaths. Now bring your hands by your low ribs. Inhale for cobra or up dog. And then down dog, exhale. Evening out your breath here again. And then look up. We're going to come onto the knees. So lightly hop or step and come to your knees for Ustrasana camel. Lengthen sitting bones to backs of knees. Put your hands on your low back as you lean back. Option to reach for the heels. Imagine there's a string attached to your chest and it's getting pulled up toward the sky. Lengthen your neck and let your head go back any amount. Spin your inner thighs back. Now squeeze your legs toward each other. Come up both shoulders at the same time. And then to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling to up dog. And exhaling to down dog. We're gonna do one more round. Step or hop to the knees. Make sure your knees aren't wider than the hips. You can stay with hands at low back or you can reach for heels or if you are able to reach your heels, try it this way. Sit back on your heels and then walk your hands to your heels. Notice if you feel a difference. I always feel more space. Keep lengthening sitting bones to backs of knees. Just gently tilting the pelvis forward and lift your chest to the sky. Squeeze the legs, come up both shoulders at the same time and make your way into chaturanga inhale pressing up dog and down dog exhale take a breath here even out 
and then we'll come to seated stepping or hopping Extend the legs in front of you, sit nice and tall, pull the toes back, reach your arms up, hinge from the hip creases, exhale forward. Reach for your legs, your feet, or use a strap. Paschimottanasana, forward fold. Lengthen the crown of your head toward your feet, and instead of thinking head to knees, think belly to thighs, lengthen out your spine. Firm your outer hips and inner thighs, lift your pelvic floor and belly even here. Inhale, head up. Exhale to release. Use your hands to lower down if you have any back issues or hands free onto your back. Draw your right knee in your chest. And then we'll take it across for a twist, looking over the right shoulder. This is a fun option. With your left hand, reach for your right little toe side of the foot. And with your right hand, reach for the big toe side of your left foot. And then extend your right leg, keeping the left knee bends. It's just a fun little option, but you can twist in a way that feels good to you right now. Just breathe, turn your belly up toward the ceiling as you twist. Bring your head to center, release hips to center as well. Draw the left knee in, extending right leg out. Guide your left knee over to the right side. Look over your left shoulder, you can stay right here or reaching for the bottom leg with your left foot and the top leg with your right, stretching the right leg out as straight as it'll go. And the, the bent knee, your heels moving toward your buns so you can stretch out the front of the thigh. Most importantly, breathe. The pose is not the most important. The breathing is. Yoga is an inside job. Poses are just a way that we can access the inside. Come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Big breath here. And then releasing your feet to the earth, lengthen your sitting bones away from your waist and draw your shoulder blades toward your waist. Let your feet flop in or out. Close your eyes. And it's not a long Shavasana, so just take a few moments to relax. Our quote today comes from Osho. Don't move the way fear makes you move. Move the way love makes you move. Move the way joy makes you move. Quiet mind, quiet body, Shavasana rest. Start to take a deeper breath here and move your fingers and your toes and your hands and your feet. Stretch your arms overhead. Reach through your toes. Bend your knees. Roll to your right. Pause here. Honor yourself. Respect yourself. You did wonderful work today. It was a great choice showing up on your mat. Sit up nice and tall with your hands together. Hands to your forehead reminding you to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to your heart, reminding you to have clear and loving intentions. Hands to your mouth, to remind you to have clear and loving communication, sending positive energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. A huge part of your yoga practice is a strong core. I've created a special class just for you so you can strengthen yours. There's a link in the description below. It's also pinned at the top of the comments. If you enjoyed today's yoga class, you're going to love this one. And I also recommend trying this.